What's up guys, Jason from Thin Line Defense, bringing you a review of sorts, but first I wanna talk about something that I think we all struggle with, and that's holsters. If you guys are like me, you have dozens of holsters. There's, heck, there's more I probably have in this garage that I couldn't find to put on this bench. The other thing that you could tell, I really prefer outside the waistband holsters, whether that's paddle holsters or your typical you know, belt loop style holsters. And this holster right here is has been my EDC holster for, I don't know, probably the last three or four years. Um, it's what I, I carry most of the time for work. Um, and I've, I've had really good success with this. This is a, uh, I don't think this is Raven concealment. I think this is an on point holster. Uh, I do like them. They're, they're cheap, uh, good quality, you know, compared to, this is my Raven concealment holster, which has been my favorite holster that I've ever had. Um, I, I absolutely love this holster, but for work I'm carrying a different gun, and so I went with this on point holster. But uh, there's a new company, or a company, I don't know how, how long they've been around, but one that reached out to us recently that wanted us to do a review of their holsters. Um, and so that's what I wanna talk about today. So let's clear the bench and we'll get their holster up here and we'll discuss this a little bit. All right, so on the left is my current EDC holster, which is brought about, uh, again, I think it's on point holsters. Um, and on the right is the 1441 gear Paratus 2.0. And I hope I'm, I'm saying that right. So Chuck over at 1441 gear reached out to us, uh, asked us to do this review. So he, he sent this to me. Uh, I did not pay for this. Um, even with that, I, I still want to try to remain as, as unbiased as possible. Um, the first thing that I noticed setting it up like this is that my current EDC, and, and this might be hard, I'll get some video footage uh, down below so you can kind of see it across, but my EDC holster just sitting like this sits you know, quite a bit higher than this Paratus holster. And I'll, I want to show you why. I think it's it's a really cool idea, a really cool uh, thing that 1441 gear. So my holster, my current EDC holster, your traditional belt loops, right? But the 1441 gear Paratus has this. If you see, it's not your traditional belt loop. In fact, Chuck said, uh, I, not to put words in his mouth, but I'm paraphrasing. You know, it just it's kind of an it's kind of ugly, but it re it works really well, and I've noticed it as well that pulls your holster closer to your body. Now, you know, some people, when they're talking about concealment, they prefer an inside the waistband. And, and there's some times where I'll use uh, an inside the waistband holster, but I do prefer outside the waistband. And so this, compared to my current EDC, this one actually holds the gun about a quarter of an inch closer to my body. And we'll put some, some pictures up to show the comparison side by side. So that's really cool uh, to me that this holster, and I think it's based on this design, forces the holster a little tighter to your body and gives you, you know, makes it a little bit easier to conceal. The other thing that I really like about this holster compared to my current EDC one, you know, flip around like this, is this outside sweat shield that comes all the way up. So you don't see that a lot. My Raven concealment is cut like this on point holster. Most of my Kydex outside the waistband, in fact, all of them that I have are cut like this, where they take the sweat shield on the front and they, they kind of cut it down. 1441 gear didn't do that. They left this like, like this. And so when this holster, when I took it out of the package, I honestly thought this has to be for the wrong gun. This looks way too big for my XD subcompact. We got an empty gun, no magazine. Um, but it fits in there great. Now we're going to show some footage and I, I, I did record some footage while I was out in the range, but the wind was just absolutely terrible. But I want to show, I, I got super comfortable first time shooting with this holster, very comfortable getting it back into the holster, getting the gun back into the holster without actually looking at the holster. So um, we'll run some of those clips and we'll, we'll kind of talk about it while I'm, while I'm running, running through some of the things that I'm doing. Yeah, you know, that feels really comfortable going back into the holster, 
not even having to look. I just, I don't know. It's kind of weird. This holster, uh, I trust it to be where it should be. It was just natural reholstering for me to get the gun back where it was and send it home without having to look. Let's try it again. Yeah, that was all my me on that time. I was trying to be too fast. It's okay. We should be coming up to a reload here. I don't remember how many rounds I put in the bag, but let's keep going. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, all right, Jason, yeah, I like outside the waistband holsters, but I prefer inside the waistband. Or what about drop holsters? Well, you're in luck. Chuck over at 1441 Gear makes those too. Uh, we were able to get our hands on one of his new drop holsters, which he is calling the Bellator. Should be on their website now. Uh, so we were able to get one for Joe. So you'll be seeing that in Joe's battle bout video that he's going to have. And he's going to be using that a lot for his CZ. Uh, and to be honest, the rest of the team was kind of jealous when we saw that. So we're all going to buy some of our own. Walsh is getting one decked out for his P320. I'm going to get one for my Glock uh, that I carry on duty because the thing's freaking fantastic. It's built so super well. Uh, you can do some some awesome color combinations. I'm really looking forward to uh, that review and also for getting one myself. The other thing with inside the waistband, so we did not get one. Like I said, I am an outside the waistband fan. Although watching some videos from, uh, I think it's John Lovell over at Warrior Poet Society and also talking with Cody on the team, I'm, I'm going to test the waters with inside the waistband and uh, a better way to do it than getting an inside the waistband holster from 1441 gear. I love this outside the waistband holster, I, I really do. This is going to be my new EDC holster. And until I could find a holster that fits as comfortably as this, that lets me reholster as, as easy as this one, and that has better concealment than this one, um, I'm sticking with 1441 gear. All right, so stealing a page from Walsh, I'm gonna go through pros, cons, and do I recommend. So pros, uh, it's price really competitive. Um, I think that Chuck over at 1441 Gear has put out a great product and it's priced reasonable enough that anyone should be able to go and pick one up. Um, another pro, they have tons of options. So I, I wanna say there's over 200, maybe 250 guns that you can choose from to have a holster made for. We kind of gave him a, a what we thought was a crazy one when he was kicking out Joe's holster for us, the uh, the drop holster, it was like a CZ, and I apologize to Joe because I always get the model wrong, like a CZ P09 with a threaded barrel and night sights and a red dot with an Olight Valkyrie Mini 2. And Chuck was like, yeah, we can do that. Um, so outstanding th the amount of stuff that he has to be able to make a, vi uh, a holster for anybody and, and almost any gun. That is huge to me as a consumer. Um, and I think that that's, that's gonna be a great benefit to our viewers as well. Another pro, uh, it sits closer to the body. It just does compared to the outside the waistband holsters that I have. Uh, maybe there's some better ones out there. I don't know of them. So if you do hit me up in the comments, let me know. Cons, uh, this is kind of nitpicking because there's, there's really not much. The only thing that I can think of is that that Paratus bar, it's kind of ugly. Um, that's really the only con that I have. So do I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna be purchasing a, another holster for myself for the gun that I typically carry every day. And I also wanna purchase a drop holster to use for my uh, my work for my duty belt. So uh, he's, he's gonna be my go-to now. Someone that can make a holster this good at this price and help me conceal even better that's a winner in my book. Um, so hopefully you guys check them out. If you do, make sure you use the code TLDCO. Save yourself some money. Uh, we're not making anything off of that, right? That's just something that 
Chuck is willing to do for our viewers. Um, so use it. Let him know. And if you have any issues, let him know if you do. I'm sure he'll make a right. Um, he's he's a, a fantastic person to work with, and I hope we see more of him on this channel in the future. All right, guys. So final comment. Again, thanks to all our subscribers, our Patreons. You guys, you guys make this fun for us. And I know I say this every video. I know you guys are probably going to get sick of this, but I am blown away at the support that we get this tiny channel that we have. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Truly appreciate it. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, leave us a note in the comments, right? Uh, consider subscribing. Please go check out 1441gear.com. There's gonna be a link in the description below. Don't forget to use the code TLDCO, which will also be in the description below. And uh, yeah, hopefully you see, see more of these holsters. Uh, in the future. All right, guys. Catch you later. See, like right there, I just got my undershirt stuck in there. Cut this part of the video out.